Scientists studied the entombed remains of villagers and a soldier on the beach of a coastal village in Italy, and realized the soldier was part of an elite force that joined in a rescue mission to evacuate civilians trapped on a beach beneath a thundering volcano. Here are the details. In the year 79 AD, Mount Vesuvius exploded catastrophically. Below it, the Roman city of Pompeii and coastal villages like Herculaneum were now caught in a terrible vice. As the volcano blew a gargantuan cloud of hot ash into the sky, the mountain kept on shaking and everyone fled, but for thousands it would be too late to flee. Around midnight, the cloud collapsed, sending its deadly hot ash rolling downward at a terrifying speed. The people of Herculaneum were trapped between the mountain and the Dark Sea, and out of the Dark Sea came hope. In the form of the Roman Navy's elite Praetorian Guard, the BBC reports that this is the finding of a recent scientific study of the remains of a Roman soldier found on a beach, next to the remains of 300 civilians from the now-buried town of Herculaneum. Scientists say the coins and objects found on the soldier's skeleton mark him as an officer of the elite guard. It is believed the officer was part of a heroic rescue mission to get people on boats when the beach was hit by a pyroclastic flow. Historians and archaeologists theorize the soldier was probably an elite officer that took part in the rescue mission launched by Pliny the Elder. Pliny the Elder was a famous Roman commander who himself died during the heroic rescue attempt. And if you're interested in amazing moments from history, here are some more videos about noteworthy events from the past. Here lie the remains of one supremely unlucky fella, who managed to survive an initial volcanic blast but ended up getting squashed by a rock. Archaeologists in Pompeii have unearthed a skeleton that had been pinned underneath a 300-kilogram block of stone during the eruption of Mount Vesuvius in AD 79. The decapitated remains are believed to be that of a 30-year-old male. Lesions on the tibia suggest a bone infection, which could have hampered the man's ability to flee. The bones were found on the first story level over a thick layer of volcanic fragments called lapilli. This suggests he survived the first phase of the eruption. Scientists think the man had been hit by hot pyroclastic flows while fleeing. A massive rock thrown by the volcanic cloud then collided with his upper body, crushing his head and thorax. The unfortunate man's skeleton is the latest discovery out of Pompeii. Excavations in the past few months have unearthed the remains of a horse and a young child. New evidence has been unearthed in the case of history's unluckiest man. Archaeologists searching the site of a man believed to have been crushed by a stone block during the Mount Vesuvius eruption in 79 AD have found the rest of his remains. They found the other remains buried deeper below the man's lower body in a tunnel created several hundred years ago. They recovered his thorax, upper limb, and skull. Analysis of the remains revealed they belonged to a 30-year-old man with a limp. Archaeologists now believe the man's death was brought about by pyroclastic asphyxiation, resulting from the eruption. Researchers say more analysis needs to be performed on the bones in order to get a better picture of the man's final moments. According to the BBC, the remains of a horse wearing a harness have been discovered at the Villa of the Mysteries in Pompeii. The villa is believed to have belonged to a high-ranking military official. The horse was found intact along with the skeletons of two other horses. According to an Archaeological Park of Pompeii press release, five bronze items and four conifer wood finds were also discovered. The excavation is ongoing. Previously, items such as kitchen utensils and a wooden bed had been discovered at the villa. Massimo Osana, director of Pompeii's Archaeological Park, told Italian news agency ANSA the whole area would be excavated before being opened up to the public. Did a volcanic eruption seal the Roman Republic's fate? Here's what you need to know. According to new research, a powerful volcanic eruption in modern-day Alaska around 44 BC may have contributed to the Roman Republic's downfall on the other side of the globe. This study was published in Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. The eruption left a 10-kilometer-wide crater in Mount Okmok that survives to this day. The research team, led by Joe McConnell of Desert Research Institute, said in a news release, the event likely caused destabilizing environmental 
final changes that paved the way for the imperial system after Julius Caesar was killed. According to the team, the estimated time of the volcano's eruption, which would have led to climate-altering levels of fallout, coincided with a period of extreme cold, crop failures and famines in the written records. The researchers also speculated that the same eruption also brought down the Ptolemaic Kingdom of Egypt. Scientists used various materials to date the eruption, including tree ring-based climate records from Scandinavia and the volcanic remains called tephra from the Arctic ice. The climate records and tephra both supported the hypothesis of an eruption in Alaska. Writing in the news release, Oxford University archaeologist Andrew Wilson said, Reduced crop yields would have worsened supply shortages during the political upheavals of the time. Desert Research Institute hydrologist and lead researcher Joe McConnell said he was fascinated to learn how interconnected the world was even 2,000 years ago. A group of archaeologists from the UK and Belgium found a buried city in Italy without having to conduct a single excavation. Yeah, you heard that right. Fuleri Novi is an ancient city that dates all the way back to 241 BC, and it was populated up until around 700 AD. The city had markets, baths, shops. But how did experts find all of this out without digging anything up? Well, here is how they did it. Researchers from the University of Cambridge and Ghent University in Belgium have discovered the remains of Falari Novi, an ancient Roman city just 50 kilometers away from Rome that has been buried for roughly 13 centuries. The research is published in the journal Antiquity. The team of archaeologists discovered Falari Novi by attaching a ground-penetrating radar or GPR to an all-terrain vehicle and then using it to map the buried city. A GPR sends radio pulses into the ground and then analyzes the waves that bounce off objects underground. The resulting 3D images put together by the team show that Fulari Novi had a theater, a market, a bath complex and temples, as well as shops, monuments and atrium houses. According to AFP, the team was particularly interested in the city's seemingly complex system of water pipes that look comparable to those of modern cities. Although archaeologists did not excavate the site, gathering all the data was not an easy feat. Lead author of the study, Martin Millett, told Reuters, quote, This took one person about three to four months in the field. Roman concrete is known for being durable, so much so that some structures made of this material have lasted for thousands of years. Modern concrete structures, however, have significantly shorter lifespans. U.S. researchers have recently revealed the secret behind the longevity of Roman concrete. Roman concrete was typically made with a mixture of volcanic ash, rock, and lime. This mortar mixture proved to be well-suited for the construction of harbors and piers. When seawater enters the concrete through tiny cracks, it reacts with the volcanic ash and lime to produce a crystal called tabermorite in a process known as pozzolanic reaction. The tabermorite crystals bind the concrete particles together, strengthening the concrete and increasing its durability. Researchers are currently experimenting with seawater and volcanic rock in order to create a mixture that could be used to build marine structures that are more durable and have longer lifespans. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.